Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your words and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. Hebrews chapter 8. Hebrews chapter 8. Verse 8. In James chapter 1, verse 21, we start with Hebrews first. But God found fault with the people and said, The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and with the people of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors when I took them by my hand to lead them out of Egypt because they did not remain faithful to my covenant and I turned away from them declare the Lord this is the covenant I will establish with the people of Israel after that time declare the Lord I will put my law in their minds and light them on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. Praise the Lord. Take note of the first statement. But God found fault with the people. We are serving a covenant keeping God. I was talking about love on Sunday. If you know the way God loves you, you will be serious with what you are doing here on earth. He discovered that the people that I promised to be their God and they promised to be my children, they are no longer faithful to me. Because by then, there was nothing like Holy Spirit in us. It was just a record on the paper where people can pretend in the eyes of, you know, their fellow uh, believers or human beings to say, I keep these commandments. In reality, they were not. So he find it very difficult to continue watching, you know, them misleading others in the name of, you know, calling the paper without obeying the paper that you are calling this is why he said, I will establish a new covenant, not the one I made with their forefathers. Because that one was just on the paper. Because paper is always outside our body. He decided now to put his word in your mind and write it in your heart. What is the meaning of that? Meaning, you are no longer calling this Bible outside. Immediately you become born again. The word will be active inside your heart. Whether you are reading this Bible physically or not reading, because he has already written his word in your heart. It's like the whole entire Bible is inside you. So that... Even if you were to be like uh, trying to go against the way of the Lord, the word inside you remind to say, no, I'm already here. What do you want to do? Remember that you are in covenant with your creator. Praise the Lord. Because of time, let me try to, uh, you know, summarize so that uh, when you go home, I'm just introducing this message. I think I'll continue by the grace of God uh, on Sunday. Now, listen to this one. I, I want to jump from there 
to verse 10. This is the, the, the covenant I will establish with the people of Israel after that time, declare the Lord. I will put my laws in their minds and write them on their hearts. I will be their God. I will put it inside you. Your thinking will be the word of God. The circulation of your blood all over your body is what? The word of God. Meaning there will be no place again for sin. It's like, you know, the word is already planted in you as a seed to be part of your life. And that word cannot allow you again to rebel against God Almighty because it's part of your life. It's inside you. And like, you know, the way we carry the Bible. This Bible that we carry physically outside, it's just a symbol that, oh, it's a Christian. What about the one God Almighty put inside your heart? Because this one is record. The original Bible is in you. Do you know that Bible? The Holy Spirit. The interpreter of the word of God. The Holy Spirit is there inside you. Immediately you become born again. The word will be active. You are no longer living the way you used to live as a human being. No. You are living now like Christ on earth. Calling the Bible outside does not qualify one to be the child of God. You need to carry this Bible inside your heart. This is what God Almighty declared. He said, I have put it inside you. Because See the way God loves us. Even where you are not showing any interest to obey his word, he will still come back to you to find a way out. But instead, you are not ready to accept his word. Let's go to James chapter 1. Yes, James chapter 1. Verse 21. Therefore, get rid of all immoral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you. Get rid of all bad things and accept the word. Someone who is, you know, accepting Christ is always humble. Immediately you become born again, you um, the word of God will humble you. And this word is the only word that can save you, whether you like it or not, like the level where we are in this world. No one can save you. Money cannot save you. Your position cannot save you. The title that you are calling, whether you are a bishop, you are a reverend, you are a pastor, an apostle, elder, these titles can mislead anyone without the word of God inside. You'll be carrying the title thinking you are a child of God. No. Don't operate through the title. Let the Holy Spirit operate through your life. Title can mislead you. There is no way you can learn how to live according to his will without his word in your heart. That is Holy Spirit. Even if you know you have been to a Bible school for five years, it doesn't mean that you are calling his word through that knowledge. No. Before you, you know, you start attending whatever you are attending, let the word of God be active in you and push you to that level. Going to church through the title, you are misleading yourself. 
Going to church because of years and years they know you as a Christian, you are misleading yourself. More especially the level where we ministers of God and you believers, let's stand together and let the truth be seen in us. The fruit of humility, the fruit of love, the fruit of humbleness be seen in us so that we inspire the world. I mean, we rescue the masses who are destined to be destroyed. Is inside you, if you don't know. This is why there will be nothing like, no, there was no one to preach to me who said, I planted this word inside you. What are you talking about? The word is there. Human beings are a very difficult nature to control, if you don't know. As long as the law is outside, human beings cannot obey that law. This is why God sees it, you know, perfect to put his word inside our heart. So that the word will be part of us. The way the blood is circulating, that is the way the word is circulating inside your system. No one can save you now. When you sit down and look at what is happening, where is, where is the value of life without Christ in you? Where is the value of life? It is only when you carry Jesus that when you see the value of life. He planted his word in you to save you. He knew that you cannot, you know, uh, worship him as long as the word is on the paper. He transferred his word from paper to Holy Spirit. So that the nature of God will be in charge over your life. And let me tell you this. Anything inside you is more powerful than what is outside your life. This is why you see, even if you talk about this, no, don't do that, don't do that. As long as they are calling evil nature inside you, you are just wasting your time. Not until the Spirit of God entered them. That's when they will say, ah, this is bad. This is not good. My personal relationship with Jesus is more important your personal relationship with Jesus is more important. The word of God is no longer outside. It's there. Dormant inside you. You keep on deceiving yourself using the title. It happens even before now. Ancient elders were using what? Titles to challenge Jesus. To say, who are you? Who is your father? And they are talking to the Savior. As long as the Spirit of God is not in your heart, you will not know whether you are worshiping God or you are wasting your time. You keep on championing religious language, thinking you are a child of God. You'll be shocked after this life. No one is ready to obey the word of God. It is very easy to obey the command of this world than his word. But I want to remind you that the word is inside your heart. And there will be nothing to say, no, the word is here. The Bible is there. Inside you. This is why I can stand here and quote the scripture that I've never, you know, let or set my eyes on it. I can quote it. The one you call, uh, how do you call this one? Memory verse. That is uh, religious. Someone who is in contact with God Almighty does not what? Memorize scripture. It is the spirit of God that you voice out. You put everything on the paper. I tried once years back. I said, ah. People use paper to preach. Let me try to put something on there. I put it, I jot, jot, jot. I uh, points, points, points. Ah, five or six points. 
I stand on the pulpit. I can't even remember one point that there is a point on the paper. I was taken. Before you know it, the service is finished. Ah, but na chile mbefi. As the spirit, you know, this is why you see there's too much confusion. Why? Because you don't know who is Holy Spirit and who is a human being carrying the language of the Bible. Anyone can interpret English. Anyone can translate from English to whatever language. It doesn't mean that the Holy Spirit is speaking. No, even before now, they used to do the same thing. They carried the law, asking Jesus. Questions. What will I push on my no no? If you are money finish, you will push on for the same. Ngai wani shita uchiti lefinde chita. Tuwebe. Nina nuwa kuperensa mshagula chifule chita. Umuntu wende la kumpa shifi yaba. Bifu weta mula mwipusha. Nishina vele nga kale maindi yenu. Nishina itashari. That's a good, you know, part of it. If you become the child of God. By his spirit. Echo msangila chino kufuruwa tawa chitashari. Tawa furuwa na ngwale muamba. Tawa furuwa. They don't trust anyone except the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, the word of God is where? It's here. It's inside your heart. Dormant. You can sleep on the Bible. You can sleep on the Bible. You can sleep on the Bible. The word is there inside your heart. The only thing you need to do is to hate what? Sin. Once sin is no longer part of your life, the Holy Spirit in you will be active. There is no need for you to use the Bible. This paper, our shabambia mukasanga tumuntu achira shama Bible akone kila kona le itashan. Ale smoka. Ba mina kushe chita ba itashan. Even the people who interpret the Bible, they are not Christians. They are professors of the language. They translated from whatever, Hebrew or Greek to English, so that you know, you people, you can understand this language. They are not Christians or believers. It's a money making way. So if you carry this Bible, no, if we a Bible tell to one fear, the Bible is inside your heart. It's written there, it's not me. It's inside you. Ngatakuwa bechi mikanyo kukube mbuka mfina mwaishu wati imwechebo muli imwecharifuwa. Ngamulefu kukube mbuka inside, epa la mulanda wati nachukua temi timashinga, umaulenje batikabia umaule kanya, utu mwakua temi timashuvidi. Mwakua tefe unga. It's just that you don't know that even when the spirit of God is talking to you, you say imi timashuvidi. So the word of God is where? It's inside your heart, my brother. It's here. It's here. The word is here. It's here. You know that. Chevo chili apa. So, chevo nga ta chile womba. Kuri wala yi karapisa. Ambe no kukuchusha. Ngole chita business. Yonzi ha chita shani. Aona ula. Kairi ya wingire nomba mumulopa. So, let the word of God be active in you. Ichalo po chafika nomba. Apape nana nguta wako atama tumukwati amatu. Apape na muambi oku mfuwa. Kumi yawe chishinka. Wande mukabuka muka sangenga ndata padi. I'm telling you. I'm telling you the truth. Wande mukabuka muka sangefyo mwashire mailo tapachire shani. Then we'll be asking questions. What happened? That is the level of the world now. See the way people are demonstrating all over the world. I remember the departed man of God spoke about, he said, there will be a lot of demonstration. And no one can stop this one. It's just a beginning. You will see it more. Even those countries where, you know, there is quiet, what, and you will see them join the, the demonstration all over the world. That is the level of the world now. So you people who are claiming to be children of God, 
Let the word of God be active. In. It is only you who can calm the situation through your cry. When you cry, your father in heaven will hear you. Because he made that covenant with you. Thank you.